Hello everybody, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. I'm your host, Black Superman, also known as Walter Bryant. I'm here with uh, CM. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Doing very well, thank you. So tell us, what are we here for today? Well, we're talking about Mission, which is um, the sci-fi Lucha Libre film that I'm making, uh, starring Mil Mascaras, who, if you're not familiar, is a, a famous luchador, a mas masked Mexican wrestler. Um, and he's been around making these movies since like the 60s, and now he's, he's back in this film. So how did you uh, meet him? Well, I actually got the film um, through the writer, uh, because I, the writer of this film has made two previous films with the same wrestler, Mil Mascaras, and um, they were produced through my old university, the University of Missouri, Columbia. And um, I worked on the original film, Mil Mascaras versus the Aztec Mummy, for one day. And then uh, basically I never saw or heard anything about, about it. I graduated school and then I moved to El Paso, Texas. And I did graduate school and I came out here to LA. And I basically like lost touch with the friend who originally put me on the set um, working. And then I just noticed one day he was um, in LA. I noticed on Facebook and we got together and they were like, hey, we're making another one of these crazy wrestling movies with Neil Mascaras since you're out here in LA and you wanna make movies, why don't you look at the script? So that was about two years ago, almost two years ago. So I've been working with it, trying to build um, funding for it. And so re most recently we turned to Indiegogo to do that, so. Uh, so what's it work like working with the legend? Well, I haven't, I mean, I, I only worked with him that one day and at the time I certainly didn't know I would be here. Um, I remember I talked to him, he's very sweet. I talked to him on the phone. Um, can you call like a, a luchador sweet? I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> he's a very, very nice guy, very smart. He's also, uh, I mean, he's a star athlete, as I'm sure you know. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame mm -hmm. last year. He's a, a scholar, he's an artist, he's an actor, he's an all around kind of renaissance man. And um, it's it's great talking to him. He always has good opinions and good input on things, and he's a smart guy. Well, yeah, me personally, I'm I'm a huge wrestling fan. Mm -hmm. I'm a humongous wrestling fan. Like it goes, God, Superman, <laughs> wrestling. That's that that that's my. Well, that's uh, the way it should be. <laughs> exactly. So you know, I, I I'm I'm very well of Mil Mascaras. I mean, even as a kid, I saw a few of his movies um, when in a, like in late night when I wasn't supposed to be up on TV um, watching TV. So shh, don't tell my mom. But. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited to hear that uh, that he's uh, making new movies, and I'm sure that a lot of his fans are going to be excited to hear that he's making these new movies too. So, where will people be able to see this? Well, um, actually, we have an acquisition agreement, and I mean, talking about the fans, you're right; they're they're the ones who go the craziest for them. Like Mil Mascaras has the best fans like in the world; they love him. I mean, they came out like even the other wrestlers are his fans, which is really amazing. Like he has in our video, you'll see like Cassandro, who's and those two both in there. There, I mean, these guys came into this video because they're such big fans, and so you know, our goal is to get it to those people, not just the wrestlers, but to all the people who idolize him. A fan yesterday just sent me um, a picture of himself wearing a Mil Mascaras mask because he just wanted to share that with us, which is really awesome. That is awesome. Um, yeah, so we get, we're starting to get more and more stuff like that. We've really built the Facebook page and everything, so we have a lot of fans on there now, and, and really like hardcore sci-fi fans and Lucha Libre fans, which is our, our core audience. So one thing like really great about this film is that we've gotten an acquisition agreement. There's a company that I, um, I use a lot, and I'm on their website. It's called Film Break. And they, um, they work a lot with distribution, and so they're collecting more films. And they kind of have done this thing where they can cut out a lot of the middlemen in um, acting sort of as a, in film talk, like a sales agent to get us to the distribution. So we actually have an agreement that they can acquire our film um, and push it through to some of the VOD and digital platforms. So it's much more accessible to our audience. Once we get it made, um, they will be able to see it. And that's a really great thing because not a lot of filmmakers get that, especially at this stage when there's still officially very little financing attached. Um, and you know, it's a it's a niche genre film, and it's hard to uh, to find people to risk financing that. And so for them to give us this agreement and say yes, we're gonna we're gonna take your film, and you're gonna have a route to making those funds back, and you're gonna have um, the chance to get it to your audience is pretty awesome. That is that's very cool. So. I know that Mil Mascaras means a thousand masks. He's a man of a thousand mm -hmm. masks. I mean, I, I watched a few of his matches, and um, there, he, one of his gimmicks was been like when things happened to him, he got jumped or whatever. Someone would take off his mask, he would have another mask. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen him without the mask? No, I have not. I um, no, I, I have not seen him without the mask. 
you don't want to see them without the mask because no, it like don't. It's but I mean ruin it for you. <laughs> but no, I haven't. But if for this film, how many different masks will we be wearing? Oh wow, that's a really good, you know I haven't even counted. It's so funny. There are some that are specifically written into the script. Um, where and Jeffrey Ullman, who wrote the script, is like he's he's kind of the master at reviving this genre. He's done an amazing job, and so he really understands these. And so he understands that the fans want to see the masks, and they want to see like how many you know different uh, like amazing designs is he going to have. And so there are a few that are written into the script. I'll say one is like a um, a coordinated kind of jungle mask, mm -hmm. and then um, some of his classic. You'll definitely see the classic design with the like the, the M and the black and white, I'm sure we'll have that. But I, uh, some of it's, you know, it's a little up to me how um, how that unfolds and the kinds of masks that we come up with, um, you know, because we can, I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work, but it's it's pretty open to doing a lot of creative stuff. I mean, I have, I have ideas in my head, but we'll see how it works. And does he keep the cape? Oh, you know, that's still to be decided. I, I picture him you wearing a cape. cape. I picture him wearing a cape for sure. But it's not like he has to have it. But yeah, I mean, that's he has to have the cape. <laughs> he will have the cape. The, the black black Superman has said he must have the cape. <laughs> then it is done. <laughs> <laughs> so without spoiling too much of, of the, the movie, what is what's what this movie going to be about? Well, this movie is about um, Emil Mascaras and the professor, who if you're a big um, fan of the movies, you remember the professor from the Mummy, Mummy film. And um, they're kind of trekking through the, the jungle looking for what they think is a meteorite. And they come across a village and in the village it's, it's, there are very few people left. They've all been killed by some kind of gruesome attack so we don't know what's happening. And there's uh, Father Tiro and Sister Tracy and, um, and of course they all know who Mil Mascaras is. And they help him to search for what they think is a meteorite but it turns out of course to be an alien spaceship landing site. Not a crash landing site, a purpose, pur purposefully landed um, spacecraft from outer space. And of course the aliens are kind of ambiguous about their intentions here on Earth, saying they want to learn, but ultimately they don't want to learn, they want to control. And so it's up to Mil Mascaras and his friends to save the human race from that terrible fate. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Not just because it's Mil Mascaras, because but because I'm also a humongous sci-fi fan as well. I mean, and you kind of have to be to be a comic book fan, mm -hmm. to be a comic book <laughs> author. That to to be the kind of nerd that I am, this is pretty much Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to to seeing this film. I'm looking forward to seeing this film be made. So I want to help you get it made. <laughs> How do we help you get this made? Uh, well, Indiegogo is our route to to funding right now. And, you know, it's not just about, um, I mean, it took me a long time to come to the Indiegogo. When I first started, like, working with this film two years ago, that was the question out of everyone's mouth, because really, it was about two or three years ago, crowdfunding really started to take off on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. And so, um, that was the first thing that everybody said was, are you going to, are you going to do crowdfunding? Are you going to do this? And, and I would say, no, no way, I'm not doing that. Because it seemed um, it seemed really wrong. The whole premise seemed wrong to me to ask the fans to pay for the film and then ask them to buy a ticket when it comes out. That just seemed like counterintuitive to what I wanted to mm -hmm. do um, because it is something like totally for the fans here. And so it took me a long time, and I did a lot of market research and um, a lot of finding out like things that indie filmmakers don't really do as much, uh, which is finding where's your audience. Where are they? Who are they? Are they actually going to go watch this? Do they do they really want to see this movie that bad so that we, we want to make it? Um, and the answer was yes. They, they're like you. They really want to see this movie. Mm -hmm. And so it was really in January when I was having a conversation with um, some wrestling promoters because I was starting to get more involved in the Lucha Libre community. And the guy said, you know, he really wanted to get involved with this film and help us make it. And he was like, you know, what happened to that mummy film? Didn't you guys make a movie with a mummy? And and I thought, yeah. And actually, I worked on that movie, and I didn't see or hear anything about that movie until like six years later. I had no idea what happened. I, I hadn't seen it. I, I didn't know what happened. And and that's when it clicked for me. And said, and I said, crowdfunding was the way to make people aware that this is happening, um, so that it doesn't end up with like some of these movies where it takes super fans like you to really search for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it should be made available. You don't have to search as much. So that was really um, the catalyst for me choosing crowdfunding. So um, I've really been working on this crowdfunding campaign since April, and we've done a lot of outreach, a lot of building, um, especially our Facebook page, 
uh, getting the acquisition agreement. And now we have, if you're an American Horror Story fan, um, Naomi Grossman, who played Pepper um, in American Horror Story Asylum. She's the crazy pinhead. And um, she's joined our cast as well, which is pretty awesome. And, uh, and that was really when I decided to go to, why I decided to go to crowdfunding, because it was such a great opportunity to reach the fans. So you can go to Indiegogo, and you should be able to search Mission, um, and you should be able to find it pretty, pretty soon. There aren't a lot of films named Mission, although a lot of things have mission statements, so it's a little confusing. But um, ours is the actual film called Mission, and you'll see, of course, Mio Mascaras's mask with the M. And it's on Indiegogo, and we've got some great perks, and I just came up with a, a new one that I'm really excited to announce. I'm not going to say it here because we haven't worked out the logistics, but it's a very personal perk for a very low cost that I think the audience is going to really like. Um, and we have really amazing perks on there, like uh, Daniel Gonzalez action figures, who um, this is a guy who customizes these action figures. It takes him about three mm -hmm. months to make it from the materials and design it and everything. So he actually has a Mille Mascaras action figure with changeable masks. So you can take the mask off and turn I, it around things. I'm going to be needing to uh, <laughs> put forward a little bit of money here because that I have to have. I have to have it. Yeah, it's, you, it's, I have to. <laughs> it's it's it, it, it's a done deal. Uh, whatever whatever that that amount is, that's going to be done. Yeah, and the good thing is if you get that one, you get a lot of other cool stuff like uh, you'll get the T-shirt, the DVD, the download, because um, that's a that's a pretty pricey perk because it's a pretty pricey item, and there there are not a lot of them and. There, I mean, you don't, you're not going to find that anywhere. It's pretty special. Um, so we have a lot of really cool stuff on the perks. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That, that is. That, that's awesome. So as you're working on this uh, and as, as it's going along, I know that it's a lot of work, especially with all the promotions and, and all, everything that goes about it. So where do you find the energy and the time to do this? Oh, wow. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's a tough question. I, I actually... I'm not, you know, I only moonlight as a sci-fi lucha libre filmmaker. My day job is actually um, teaching English as a second language at UCLA Extension. Wow. Uh, so I do, have a, I do have a day job on top of all of this. And, uh, you know, very, this is my first feature film. And when this, you know, when this film came to me, like nobody gets that for a first time film. Nobody gets the opportunity to do this for the first time. It's not something, you know, the time is there. We all have 24 hours. It's up to you how you use it. Um, but the time is there. You know, it just, it's just, it's taken me longer, I think, than it would, you know, a team of five people working full time for mm -hmm. sure. And then, there, of course, it's, it's L.A. And so people get really excited and they jump on board and then they disappear and then they come back. And, you know, so mm -hmm. you have to like kind of, you know, you can dish out a workload occasionally. And then if those people disappear, then you have to take it back on and you have to, you know, kind of rework what you were doing. So that happens a lot in this process, like um, people helping me when, whenever they can, which is great. And then they have busy schedules too. And so then I have to absorb the workload again and kind of start over at some in some places. So, you know, I don't know. I, I work a lot at, at night and <laughs> I work on the weekends and um, I'm a, I have a bit of an obsessive personality. So I don't, that helps. I don't own a TV. Um, <laughs> so I don't own a TV and, uh, you know, all hobbies have ceased at this point. <laughs> Uh, occasionally I, I'll go to a gym, but that's it. So yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just do it a lot. That's all. If someone wanted to help you, how would they get in touch with you to go about, I don't know, becoming part of your team? Oh, um, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, actually, the best way probably to do that, because my email is really long, but um, I can send you my email if you just message me on Facebook. It's um, facebook.com slash cmlandrus, L-A-N-D-R-U-S. You can just message me personally. I, I, I'm always checking that. You can also uh, message the the movie, um, filmbreak.com slash mission movie. And uh, you can find me on Twitter, uh, CM Landris, although I think it's a different handle. But if you search CM Landris, I'm the only one that comes up. And also Twitter is the same one, Twitter slash mission movie. So um, I, I check those all, all the time, and I always respond to things. And uh, right now there are some other people helping us with the, the mission um, Facebook and Twitter so I'm not checking that as much but I, um, I still see it I'm still attached to it so any you can message me anytime on those and I'll get back to you excellent well I'm hoping this does really well because I want to see more of them <laughs> I mean I, I'm, I'm already putting it out there in the universe that this one has to do well so that I can get Thank another Mill Masquerade movie I'm sure that you also want to do other kinds of work also so hopefully this will be a springboard for you to be able to do this full time, to be able to get out to get to where you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. So I can see more of these. Yeah, I hope so. I, uh, I would. That's yeah. That's the idea. In fact, uh, when you said, "How do you find the time and whatnot?" I, 
I was actually simultaneously working on this and developing a production company. Um, and I, I realized you can only have so many full-time jobs. Mm -hmm. So I put the company down and started working full-time on the film in January or February. And um, because I realized this, I need to finish this one first. And I have a tendency to start many, many things. And uh, so I really focused on this so that it can be that springboard, as you say, to the next film. And I like diversity. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I look forward to seeing what kind of my next project is, um, is going to be. I know I've written a feature length script and um, I've worked with some other writers on their scripts. So, and they're all very different projects. And, you know, I don't want to be pigeonholed as the... Uh, Sci-Fi Lucha Libre <laughs> director. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing, you know, if you got to be pigeonholed, that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, you know, you'll, we'll see what's next. I love, but I love this cult genre, though. Like, you know, anything like George A. Mm -hmm. Romero and all those classic cult movies, that's what I really love, too. So making this is a big, is a big deal for me as both a fan and a filmmaker. Well, once you get done with this um, and you get back to working on your production company, I know that, um, at least for us, uh, a lot of people have reached out to us because we are, as a small indie company, we are one of the few companies that will listen to people just because they have a good idea. You know, like when you get to the larger companies, they no longer care anymore. They kind of they see a million scripts a day so they're not mm -hmm. really listening so we hear from a lot of people and I'm sure that you're gonna hear from a lot of people too so when you um, when you get ready to put your production company up and start hearing from people um, you should send us a link so we can get people in touch with you I'll definitely do that yeah <laughs> so before we before we uh, sign off is there anything that you want to let the fans know um, well if I had to you know I pitch to the fans all the time and um, like honestly this is a movie for the fans uh, and that's it and it's it's Lucha Libre and as any Lucha Libre fan knows Lucha Libre doesn't exist without the fans you know there it's not like soccer where you can go and play an indoor game with your friends you don't get like luchadors out there doing backflips and having their own matches it doesn't exist like that it's for the fans the films are for the fans and this is the first time that the fans have ever really had a chance to be a part of it on this level um, and it's not just about you know donating t uh, money to this campaign you know any amount if you want to donate a dollar that's fine um, it's a big deal that you share this film um, share it with your friends share it with your family uh, use the links on the Indiegogo campaign that's as every bit as important as the actual contributions um, that helps us gain visibility and that helps it ultimately just get it to you it's one step closer to you so uh, this is really a, f a film for the fans, and so we hope you'll you'll all get involved and share and everything. Well, I know that we will. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Sam, it's been a it's been a real pleasure. Thank yes. you for being on our show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for sharing with us. Thanks for bringing Mill Mascaras back to the to the big screen. <laughs> My pleasure. And hopefully, we will enjoy many many more of your works. <laughs> Thanks. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been fun talking about wrestling and movies, sci-fi, comic books. Oh, it's beautiful. It's been a beautiful day. So until next time, I've been your host, Black Superman, also known as Walter Bryant, with CM Landris. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kidd. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.